Cowboys make waves with receivers signings amid roster shakeup, report in a flurry of post-draft activity, the Dallas Cowboys wasted no time bolstering their roster with a slew of undrafted free agents. Among the early signings was Northwestern's standout wide receiver, Cam Johnson, as reported by Justin Mello of the Draft Network. Fresh off his most impressive collegiate season, Johnson arrives in Dallas poised to make an impact. His stellar 2023 campaign saw him haul in 54 receptions for 715 yards and six touchdowns, showcasing his prowess as a dynamic playmaker. Johnson's journey to the Cowboys traces back through Vanderbilt and Arizona State before finding a home at Northwestern. During a pre-draft interview with Mello on March 5, 2024, Johnson highlighted the Cowboys as one of the teams that expressed keen interest in his talents. All my interviews went well, Johnson told the Draft Network. Honestly, each meeting felt so different. The teams that really stood out, the ones I felt really like me, were the Cowboys, 49ers, Ravens, and Titans. I felt like they were really high on me, really liked my game. In addition to Johnson, Dallas also secured another formidable receiving threat in Minnesota tight end, Brevin Spanford, according to Michael Gelkin of the Dallas Morning News. Standing at 6 feet 6 inches and 260 pounds, Spanford presents Dak Prescott with yet another imposing target if he can crack the final roster. Another promising young tight end for the Cowboys, they've agreed to terms with former Minnesota T.E. Brevin Spanford, Gelkin detailed in an April 27 tweet. He's 6 to 6, 260 pounds with a massive catch radius. Dynamic inline option to compete for opportunities in 2024. Spanford's standout collegiate season came in 2022, where he recorded 42 receptions for 497 yards and two touchdowns. NFL.com's Lance Zierlein assessed Spanford with a seventh round grade in his pre draft evaluation, highlighting his blend of size and versatility. With the structure of an inline Y receiver but the playing style of a move tight end, Zierlein detailed, Spanford has shown some improvements in his run blocking in 2023, but sustaining them and blocking accurately in space is still a work in progress. He's a bit heavy-legged on lower zone routes and lacks instincts to create separation against man coverage. Spanford struggled with drops and contested catches last season, but teams may be intrigued by the matchup problems he could create as a big slot target. As these new additions settle into the Cowboys roster, fans are left eagerly anticipating the impact Johnson and Spanford will bring to Dallas aerial attack. Will they emerge as key playmakers in the upcoming season? Share your thoughts and excitement as the Cowboys receiving core undergoes a transformative shift.